A controversial 90-day fiance, cast member blasts trolls who accuse her of being a gold digger and asking her to go back to her country. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and keep watching for more details 90 day fianza. Before the 90 day star, Jasmine Pineda is on a mission to expose all the trolls who leave xenophobic comments about her on Instagram. The 36 year old is from Panama City, Panama. Jasmine used to work as an English literature teacher for a living when she met Gino Palazzolo, 52, from Michigan. Gino began dating Jasmine in a long-distance relationship during the 2020 COVID-19 lockdown. He finally went to see her in person with the Before the 90 Day Season 5 crew after making up his mind that he wanted to get married to her. Gino spent enough time getting to know Jasmine better through her screams and words of love 90 Day Fianza. Before the 90 Day star, Jasmine Pineda is on a mission to expose all the trolls who leave xenophobic comments about her on Instagram. The 36-year-old is from Panama City, Panama. Jasmine used to work as an English literature teacher for a living when she met Gino Palazzolo, 52, from Michigan. Gino began dating Jasmine in a long-distance relationship during the 2020 COVID-19 lockdown. He finally went to see her in person with the Before the 90 Day Season 5 crew after making up his mind that he wanted to get married to her. Gino spent enough time getting to know Jasmine better through her screams and words of love. However, Jasmine received critical comments among the congratulatory messages. She posted a screenshot of a fan telling her, go back home. Jasmine decided to name and shame them by adding a screenshot of the person's Instagram profile, revealing their face and full name. I'm gonna be exposing whoever dares to text me xenophobic messages. Jasmine added as a caption dot fuck. Jasmine shared another Instagram story where she explained the meaning of xenophobia. She wrote it was dislike of or prejudice against people from other countries the resurgence of racism and xenophobia. Jasmine had more such screenshots to share. She posted one of a DM she received where the 90-day fiancé viewer called her a gold digger. They hoped that Gina would leave her for being ugly and fake. The person seemed to have been affected by the recently shown argument between Gino and Jasmine over who was more important to him, his family or his partner. When Gino decided it was going to be a tie, Jasmine broke up with him. She wanted to be his priority, especially now that she was moving to the U.S. for good and leaving all her family and life in Panama behind. Jasmine broke up with Gino when he didn't change his statement. She even claimed she was cheating on him with her ex-boyfriend Dane and had an intimate video to prove it. Jasmine later apologized to Gino and proposed to him. While they remained engaged, the fan prayed for Jasmine to not be allowed in the U.S. Jasmine has been the subject to constant attacks online since her 90-day fiancé debut. It may have been her bold personality or even her insecurities that made her an easy target for the trolls to bash her on the Internet. But Jasmine has always faced them with confidence whenever she's decided to trash them on Instagram. She is currently set to come back via 90 Day Fiancé Season 10, and it remains to be seen how viewers will react to her new storyline, which already teases a cheating scandal and a breakup. 